All right, guys, so I see all these questions floating across Facebook asking how you can put a goniometer or some sort of goniometric measurement on your telehealth sessions. So let me show you what I created. You guys have free access. The only thing I ask is that in exchange for getting this free tool, you subscribe to my channel. Go down, subscribe right now while you're watching. So let me show you what I've got. Um, Canva is just one option. I don't use Canva much, but I'm using it for this demonstration because I know a lot of you guys use it. So let's go ahead and just create a de design. I'm going to use a custom um, canvas. I'm going to say 600, whoops, 600 by 600. Let's hit the design. Let's see, here it is. If you know how to take a screenshot, so either on the recorded video, you take a screenshot or while you're doing your telehealth um, on a PC, you hold the control print screen button. It'll capture the whole screen or control, I'm sorry, alt print screen. Alt print screen will capture the window. Once you have your screen capture taken care of, you can upload it into Canva. And this is a black text and white text protractor that you can put over your picture. So let's say, for example, this is the picture. I'm going to drag it in. I'm going to resize it. Now, obviously, we don't need the drama of the grimace, but if you want it, you can use it. So I'm going to have my picture right there. I'm going to come over here. If I grab the black protractor, it's kind of hard to see those numbers on the dark shirt. So I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to grab the white protractor. I'm going to go ahead and give it a spin. I'm going to kind of resize it a little bit. So I'm going to take it to 180. I made it a little bit bigger. I made it too big. So now you can't see it, right? No biggie. So I'm going to shrink it down. What did I just do? See, this is why I can't stand Canva. Okay, I'm getting rid of that. I'm going to bring over a new one. I'm going to spin it around 180 degrees. I'm going to bring it over into position. I'm going to zoom in some so I can kind of see what I'm working on a little better. And from here, so I can shrink that down. From here, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to find that glenohumeral joint. I'm trying to line up the center point. I'm going to come in, if you want to get really fancy, I can grab some elements. I can grab a line. Let's take this red line. I can put my center point there. And now what I can do is I can rotate that to match the line of the humerus, drag it back down to my center point. Again, if I wanted to zoom in even tighter, so you can see here we've got you know, if, if 90 degrees is zero, that's your zero mark. We, or I guess th this way, uh, vertical would be zero. As we're coming up, we're looking at here's 70, 73, you know, and then of course, if I wanted, I can come in here, grab that 70, 73 degrees. I can drop that right there. I can export this PNG, download it. And this is what's going to go in my medical record. I can name it based on the patient. I don't have a patient, so I'm not going to do it. But let me throw that right there and we're done. I don't know how important goniometry is to you, to the payer. I'd rather have functional measures rather than goniometry, but this is a quick way to do it without added apps and other stuff. Um, do what you guys want. You know, you're in charge. This is your experience. You do what works best for you, but I wanted to share this video. So if you wanted to do this, it's available. Guys, subscribe to the channel. You can have the tool for free. 
Let me know if you think you're gonna use it. If you do use it, let me know if it helps you. In the meantime, I'm gonna work on another video. Guys, thanks for watching.